everyone, Ace of Clay here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another sculpting video. Today, I'm bringing you another Dead by Daylight character, The Huntress. Dead by Daylight is a video game and The Huntress is one of the playable killer characters. She is an orphaned hunter who went mad after losing her mother at a very young age. This incident led her to become a monstrous cannibal of the forest. The hunter's real name is Anna and she is a natural born hunter knowing exactly when to strike and she's known to be a ferocious user of her broad axe and hatchets. I really love this character because there were so many little details that I was able to put into her and I really think she came out cool and I'm excited for you to see her. But before we get started, be sure to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay. Now let's make the Huntress. All right, let's get started. I've got my wooden plaque here and some armature wire. I'm going ahead and creating the Huntress's legs, spine, and arms. So I'm just mirroring the first half that I created. Let's add a third little piece of wire in the middle there to create her neck. Now let's go ahead and bulk out her chest with some Super Sculpey Ultralight. Just wanna secure that to the wire with some Bacon Bond. All right, there we go. There's our armature. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and get this in the oven and I'll be right back. Now that she's baked and out of the oven, it's time to cover her in clay. For this project, I'm using Super Sculpey Original.
Now she's got this piece of fabric around her waist that only covers half of her. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that out of cosplay so that it stays flexible after it's baked. And then we'll go ahead and throw on the rest of her details. All right, I think this is a good time to pre-bake her so I can come back and put her arms on without smashing the rest of her. So let's go ahead, throw her in the oven for about 40 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit, and we'll be right back. And now that she's baked and completely cooled down, let's work on her arms and head. Hi, now before we get into the rest of the video, let's take a second to talk about our sponsor, BetterHelp. Is there something getting in the way of your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? I know I've been there before, I know a lot of us have, and I know the importance of mental health, especially when it comes to being a content creator and making something brand new every week. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your very own licensed professional therapist, and you can start communicating within 48 hours. It is not a crisis line, it is not self-help, it is licensed professional counseling, done securely online. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 15,000 counselor network, which may not locally be available in many areas. BetterHelp is available worldwide and you can log in at any time to send a message to your counselor. You will get timely and thoughtful responses and you can even schedule weekly video or phone sessions. And you'll never have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. That's why they make it easy and free to change counselors if you need to. BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life starting today. Visit betterhelp.com slash aceofclay, that's better, H-E-L-P, and join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Now because you're an Ace of Clay subscriber or you're just watching this video, you can save 10% on your first month of BetterHelp. Just go to betterhelp.com slash aceofclay. Now back to the Huntress. All right, now that those arms look pretty good, I'm gonna take a break from her body for a second and we're gonna make her big hatchet. And then we'll go ahead and make her hands. I think I want the hatchet to be in both hands, kind of like this. So she's carrying it with both hands. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and make that and then pre-bake it. All right, now that her little hatchets are done, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-bake these so that they're easier to attach to her and then we'll make her hands. All right, our hatchets are baked and cooled down. They're a little burnt because I had them too close to the heating element in my oven. Sorry about that, but they're totally fine. Once we paint them, you won't even know. Now what I'm gonna do is position the, the big one in both of her hands like this and then we're gonna put that little one 
sort of like on her belt. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and make her ears out of some cow's clay, just so they stay flexible after they're baked. And then once she's baked and painted, we'll put that lace on the back of her head. All right, she looks like she's ready for her final bake. Let's go ahead and get her in the oven, then we can come back and paint. Be right back. All right, now that she's baked and completely cooled down, it's time for paint. So all the paints that I'm using are Folk Art brand matte acrylics. Now I got my color palette over here. Got some orange, some blue, some red, some white, some of this nice beigey linen color. I think this is all we're gonna need for her. Oh, I also need yellow. Yellow, okay. Let's get started. I think I wanna start with her skin. I always like doing that first, just to get that out of the way. And then we'll get into her shirt, her pants, this thing, whatever you wanna call it. And let's go.
All right, now that she is completely painted and we've got her base colors on, it's time to dirty her up. I'm gonna use some watered down black and brown paint. We're gonna make it blotchy everywhere and of course add a little bit of blood. So let's get started. I've been looking forward to this part the entire time. <laughs> Paint the pink on the ears. So we're gonna go ahead and add that in a second. Now for her veil, I've got this little piece of lace. I just fold it over and I'm gonna attach it with some Fabri-Tac. And she's done! The Huntress is complete. Let me know what you think of her in the comments. Thank you so much for watching my video again. I really appreciate your support. I love how she turned out. I think she looks really cool. I think the cosplay was perfect for this because it just lets these really thin areas stay flexible. I love the addition of the real lace. And I just had a lot of fun making all her details. I think she's a really interesting character and I hope you enjoyed me making her as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.